O dear friends, brothers and sisters, Feast, Solemnity of Corpus Christi, the body and the blood of Christ. I'll show you. Ayan. Body and blood of Christ. Madalas hidden, madalas hindi natin pinapansin, madalas ini-snub pa natin. But it's a real presence. Body and blood of Christ is the greatest gift na iniwan ni Lord sa atin. Parang bago siya umalis, I will always be with you, ha? Do this in memory of me. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for this gift. Sana po, we appreciate the gift more and more. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Sweet sacrament we thee adore, O make us love you more and more. Um, meron lang pong isi-share sa inyo kasi marami sa atin Well, it's been one and a half years. Eh, na parang ano ba to? So sometimes it gets into you. Hindi nyo nanonotice yan, pero parang irritable ka na, mainit ang ulo mo, or nabobored. So be careful. Uh, the creeping in, labanan po natin ng negativities ng COVID-19. Meron pong kwento ng husband and wife. You know, as usual, the wife cook the food, and serve the food sa mister niya. Kumain yung mister. Ayun na. Mister set. Ano ba naman to? Walang kalasa-lasa ang pagkain. No taste at all. Hmm. Nagalit. Aba, nasaktan si misis. You know what the misis did? Tumawag siya ngayon sa barangay. Kunin niyo yung mister ko. Wala na siyang panlasa. Baka may COVID ho. Yun. Pinasundo sa bahay. Wala nang panlasa. Anong nami-miss niyo itong pandemic? What do you miss most? Ah, marami dyan. Father, shopping, hindi makalabas, hindi makakain, etc. Oh, din ako maka-travel. But you know what What really always uh, touches me is when somebody says, Father, you know, I really miss going to the church, receiving Holy Communion, and tasting that sacred host again in my mouth, and experiencing the real presence of the Lord. In my masses, Zoom masses, I, I do a lot. I always receive communion and pray, Lord, for those who cannot receive Holy Communion on their behalf, I would like to receive it for them and with them. We are one. Please don't forget that. Kasi mga iba, well, okay naman ako sa pandemic, walang problema, comfortable ako. No. We belong to the body of Christ. Corpus Christi. The word Christi in Latin means of Christ. Yung declension Christus, Christi, of Christ, Christo, Christum, Christo. So, of Christ. So today, let us declare that we belong to Christ. Oh, Membership check ngayon. Do you believe to the do you belong to the body of Christ? Oh, marami sa atin members kaya lang they don't do their obligations and their dues. Judith na Judith. <laughs> Judith. So, yung mga ganun pa, kailangan po we have to own again o nga no. I belong to the body of Christ. So now I like to declare I am Father Jerry Orbos Christi. Mm. Orbos of Christ. Father Conrad 
Christi. But the conduct of Christ means you belong to Christ. Niño Christi. Niño of Christ. Yung mga sa Spaniard, ba? Spanish, de Guzman, of Guzman, del Rosario, of the Rosary. Von, yun, van, magan, of, of, of. So today, we declare again, yes, Lord, I belong. I am a member of the body of Christ. We belong together. And please remember this, real presence. Huh? Real presence. There have been a lot of Eucharistic miracles. Is there many people known, they say, ah, hindi naman real presence yan. Kung lang yan, uh, symbolic presence. No, for us, it's a real presence. We need the body and blood. Of, this is our faith. Huh? Remember a Eucharistic miracle in Lanciano, Italy. I think the story was this woman, pagtanggap niya ng communion, sinimpli niya, kunwari tinanggap niya, tinago niya. But as, as nakatago sa handkerchief na, it started, the sacred dough started to bleed. So nung nalaman yun, takbo na siya sa bahay nila. Why did he put it here? Ito, sabi ng witch, kumuha ka ng sacred host, dali mo sa bahay, ilagay mo sa iniinom ng mister mo para magbago na at hindi na mangangaliwa yung mister mo. That was the whole story. So he, he, she didn't know what to do. She put it in a, in a box, something, and from the box, light started to shine. The husband came home and she told everything. They went back to the church in humility. Pinigay the Paris. And that sacred house has been preserved. It's still there. Yes. And uh, I personally, I experienced, well, I do not claim a miracle, but I saw the sacred host in the tongue of Julia Kim turn flesh and blood. I, I cannot explain that. Whether miracle or not, for me, it made me realize, yes, Lord, you're really present. Alam po ba nyo, when I saw that, I really went, I didn't know what to do. I went to the tabernacle. I knelt down, I was crying, and I said, Lord, you're really present in the blessed sacrament. Sorry for the times. We take you so for granted in the Mass. Parang wala lang, automatic. We take you in communion unworthily. Forgive us. And that for me, yes, that for me was a realization, at least in my personal experience, that Jesus is really present. Uh, it's a loving presence. Please don't forget that. A loving presence. Our Lord's presence is a loving presence. I remember stories of our old missionaries. You know, like there was this German priest in a sign in Kalintaan, Mindoro. When the rainy season sets in, he is exquana. Hindi na siya marating, no? And so, according to this story, many times at night, in loneliness, this old German missionary would open the church alone and you go to the Blessed Sacrament and embrace the tabernacle, Lord surrendering everything. See, the re real and loving presence of the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Yeah, heart to heart, this is a loving presence. In Korean, we say, Ishim Chonshimya. Heart speaking to another heart. And how many of you, lahat po tayo, yung meron tayo nakakausap at alam po natin may nakikinig. By the way, ang ganda po ng isang experience ko rin sa Tagaytay ng seminarista kami, si Brother Daniel Dur. Simple brother. Alam niyo yung trabaho po niya? <laughs> Pigri. Siya nagkakuha ng pagkain ng mga baboy namin sa pinapalaki sa Tagaytay noon. Humble. But every afternoon before the Angelus, 
nandun na siya sa simbahan. In the same place, I remember it. On the left side, we praying the rosary and adoring the Blessed Sacrament. You know, those who listen, who take time before the Blessed Sacrament, are really guided. So please take time to be in the loving presence of our Lord. And listen, our new Cardinal, Cardinal Jose um, Advincula, Manila, ang kanyang motto ay audiam, I will listen. Beautiful. I will listen to God and I will listen to people. That's a real servant. Sana matuto po tayong to really listen to what people are saying or not saying. And so, real presence, loving presence, it should lead to missionary presence. Kasi mga iba, dasal ka ng dasal. Ang sama naman ng yung asal. <laughs> dasal ka ng dasal, wala ka namang sinishir. So, emotional love for God, okay yan. Devotional love for the Lord, okay yan. Pero mayroong dapat actual love. See? Your devotion to the Blessed Sacrament should lead you to real action and mission. And all our mission should lead back to the Eucharist. And from the Eucharist, we get the strength and we go again. Ito po ang source of our strength. The reason for all our praying and working is our Lord Jesus Christ Himself. So, there are three R's. Huh? Yung three R's natin when you remember the Eucharist. One R, the first R is to remember. Samisa. Before the consecration, it's epiclesis. It's a remembering. On the night he was betrayed, yeah? You're re recalling. He took bread, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples and said, when supper was ended. So we remember. We remember how you loved us. It's a beautiful remembering. Oh, huwag tayo makalimot. Na mahal tayo ng Panginoon. Naalaala mo pa ba? <laughs> Nung yung, yung, pe, yung soft drinks, just sentimos lang. Yung mga ganun. Naalala pa ba nyo yung mga cellphone natin? These are remembering. But what a beautiful remembering. Husbands and wives. Every time I have a Zoom mass, and especially... Yung nag -re -re ng kwan. Oh, do you remember what time? Where you were married? Sabi ng husband, sa, sa Cuba, Father. Sabi ng what? Eh, doon yata sa St. Joseph. Oh, teka muna. Anong, teka muna, anong oras kayo kinasal? Hapon, umaga? Umaga, Father. Ah, hindi. Uy, tanghali. Naku, Diyos ko. Are you the same couple? <laughs> we have to remember. One thing too, I ask people, especially mga namatayan, I simply ask, what time did your beloved pass away? Why is it so important to remember? Because I ask them every day, ha? When Mary, 3 o'clock. You all stop whatever you're doing and you remember him. You pray three Hail Marys. This is what it means, remembering. A grateful remembering. Unong puno po ng papasalamat Naalala po namin ang pagmamahal niyo. Second R is, we celebrate. We rejoice. We rejoice because you are with us still. Nandito ka pa, Lord. Kaya we are always rejoicing because of your real presence. Kaya lang, tignan mo kumisa mga tao sa misa. Rejoicing ba ang mga mukha? Hindi, parang wandering faces. Joyful ba 
Ang celebration natin, maraming celebration natin, sorrowful. This is a joyful proclamation of the presence of God. Lift up your hearts. And the third is we celebrate. We remember how you loved us and still we celebrate for you are with us here and we believe that we will see you again. Ito na yung uh, we are celebrating, we are affirming our hope. We will meet the Lord again. So mga kapatid, ito po sana ang paalala ng Lord sa atin. Huwag natin sayangin po. It's a gift. It's a present for all of us. Suggestion po, tayo dapat maging living Eucharist. You are a walking Eucharist. Kasi po may mga iba sa misa, ganun, napakapayos, napakagandang as. Paglabasan ng misa, wala na. Iniwan yung living Eucharist, a walking Eucharist. And may I suggest, alam po nyo, kulang ang puso natin. But I pray for all of us to be Eucharistic and to have the mission, right? Eucharistic heart and a missionary heart. Mayroon pong sa gitna a Marian heart. If you're a Marian, you're close to the Eucharist. You're a Marian, you also know you have a mission. So that completes it. E-M-M. Eucharistic heart, a Marian heart, and a missionary heart. We have our mission. And may I also end with a simple reminder sacred heart last friday was first friday etong friday i the feast of the sacred heart of jesus what is a sacred heart we did something nung first friday para ma define ang sacred heart so i'm going to ask you now Ano bang sacred heart? Let's go to the alphabet. Sige nga. A. Sacred heart. Malapit ka kung ang A, kung ang heart mo ay? Give me an adjective. Ano pa? Oh, affectionate. Yan, yung mapagmahal. Ano yung B? You are now joining us in the family. Could you please supply? Let's describe what a real heart, sacred heart is. Tayo. Ano po yung B? Anybody? Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful heart. Whoa, beautiful heart. Ayan. Not an ugly heart. C? Caring heart. Caring heart ka ba? Oh, yun. How about D? Devoted. Yan, yung may devotion ka, may commitment. Uh, e. A1. A1. Uh, ano, ano? <laughs> expressive. Yan, expressive ka. Yeah. Okay, sige. You supply, ha? G. Uh, F. Forgiving. Forgiving heart. Yung pusong marunong magpatawad. Yan, Eucharistic heart yan. Marian heart. Sacred heart. G? Generous. Ah, generous. Yun. Pusong mapagbigay. Yan. H? Humble heart. Ang ganda naman nun. Thank you. Humble heart. I? Immeasurable. Uh, immeasurable. Yan. Enlarged heart ka. Ha? Huh? Yan, immeasurable. Magnamahal na walang katapusan. In large heart ba tawag doon? Yung malaking puso. <laughs> Nilikado yun, ha? Um, okay, J, J. <coughs> Joyful heart. K? Hi. Kind heart. Yan, galing. Thank you. L? Loving. M? 
Mama Mary's heart, Marian heart, Ma Mary's heart. Galing, galing, galing. And noble, noble heart. Pede, pede. Yes, you can add as many as you want, huh? Oh, open heart. By the way, ha, huh? ang ganda po ito, ha, huh? sa mga nakikinig ngayon. Mga kila Jane, kung sino man yung mga pinagdadaan. A broken heart is an open heart. Anyone who goes through a brokenness, love life, or may namatay, you know, it breaks your heart, but, you see, it opens you to the divine. Bukas ka kay Lord, eh. Because you've been broken. Yun. Open. Ninyo, ha? It's okay. <laughs> um, P? P? Praying heart. Faithful? Ano hindi po? Um, praying heart. Q. Mm -hmm. A quiet heart. Opo, ang dami kasi. Ang gulo ng puso mo. Ma magulo. Masyado kang... Ano? No? Quiet heart. Yeah. R. Rejoicing heart. Yun, tignan nyo. Three times na yung lumalabas yung joy, no? S. Sincere. Sinetchera. No wax, no mask. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng sincere. In Latin, T, trusting heart, thankful heart, terrific heart. Huwag <laughs> lang terrible, ha? You, only you, understanding heart, unconditional. You know, so you know what it means. V, Mm. Vulnerable. Ibig sabihin, open ka. Handa ka. You know, you're not defensive. You can face the truth. V, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Pwede na rin. So, something like that. <laughs> that W, wonderful. What a wonderful heart. Or a welcoming heart, you know? You're not a cave. You should be a cave, not a wall. A cave takes in people, a wall shuts out people. Why? A ex. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know how that word came about? Ito, Nino, ha? Father, meron daw pumasok sa mall. This guy. Pagpasok niya, nakita niya yung, yung, kanya, yung ex, yung dati niya. Tumalo ng puso niya, pero sabi niya, no, wag na lang, no, no. I will not, hindi na. Closure na yun eh. But that night, sinulat niya sa journal niya, so happy today, excited. Excited. Yan pala ang nagsimula ng word na Excited. <laughs> Okay, somebody said senial. X E N I A L. I don't know, my first time to hear that means. Oh, that's a beautiful word. Welcoming or something. Why? Youthful heart. Please, young at heart. Huh? Be young at heart. Wag mong sabihin kwan ka na yung wala na, wala na kung. No, anytime. Let the youth in you, if you are always exposed to the Lord, you'll be okay. Youthful ka pa rin. And Z. Zealous heart. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't think we'll have enough time, but families, I ask you to do an assignment. Ito na yung what a heart should be, following the sacred heart and the uh, Mama Mary's heart and the Eucharistic heart. The next assignment then for you all to discuss maybe as a family is this. What a heart should not be. 
A, for example. Arrogant. Yeah. B. Bully. <laughs> so, dagdagan na po natin. C. Conceited. Yeah. D. Dangerous. <laughs> anyway, so fill in the blanks. Let's all listen to the Lord, the Sacred Heart, and don't forget the body and the blood of Christ. We are one. And so we profess our faith.